Industrialism squeezes out the things that we care most about. Ultimately, the safety and well-being of the human race. If we are going to continue to live um, as human beings in this world, we're going to have to think about um, a lot that we are just leaving out of conversation. The Berry Center was started to continue my family's advocacy for small farmers and for their communities. We live downstream from the economic prosperity that uh, the cheerleaders of the industrial economy talk about all the time. I'm a fourth generation steward of my family's farm, Fox Hollow Farm, but I do not come from a family of generational farmers. And the Berry Center has taught me the importance of that culture and that knowledge of having generations of family to lean on and to learn from. And the Berry Center has filled that void for me of not having family to talk to. Early on in my farming career, I realized it was so important to talk to people that farmed well and had that generational knowledge. And every time I sit and listen and learn, I think, I really hope that I can bring that gift to more people, whether they're experiencing the farm as a visitor or whether they're wanting to be a young farmer and don't quite know where to go or have access to land or where to start. The Berry Center is providing that initial point of learning about farming and seeing if that's the right fit for their career. Nature has an absolute law. It does not waste we need to live by that law. The human law of doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. These are laws that need to be followed and um, you don't follow them at your own peril. And we're now seeing the result of generations of not following those laws. So we see the failing farms, failing farmers, uh, polluted waterways, soil erosion, toxicity, and so on, and all of the problems that come with that list. We live with that every day. So I wanted to go to work on the problems, the root problems, not just the symptoms of the problem. So I started the Berry Center to do just that. This takes a special kind of, of affection and of attention. We need small farmers who understand where they are, who think about where they are, and maybe most importantly, love where they are and hope to pass the place that they are on to others that they love. The Berry Center can use funding in a way that not only helps the Berry Center in this community, but also the rest of our communities nationwide. We really need to put our resources to supporting sustainable ways of farming and sustainable ways of bringing food to our community. We have come up with systems that are broken. They're not working. They've proven that the supply chain can't handle the amount of output we're trying to get out of our land. And if we could give funding towards supporting the land and supporting the people who want to farm the land well, then we're gonna be able to have a system that lasts for generations. 